This puzzle is a subscriber request. Andy requested that I solve this puzzle. Thank you, Andy. I've had other requests in the last several weeks, and I haven't been able to get to them. I'm sorry, I've been very busy lately. I'll try to, try to get to them soon. In the future, I'll be doing some puzzles from Wayne Gould in a magazine I picked up recently. Wayne is credited with making Sudoku popular worldwide in the early 2000s. For a complete history of Sudoku, go to the history page of sudokuprimer.com. There there's a link in the description below, so you can just click on it. I think this Sudoku history is very interesting. Okay, let's get to this puzzle now. Um, this puzzle is gets a bit tricky in a couple of spots, and I'd say that the uh, double column elimination technique is the one that, along with some patterns, help us solve this puzzle. I'll show you those as I progress through the puzzle. All right, first of all, we're going to do some pretty easy numbers, like usual. We'll do some cherry picking here and find some pretty easy numbers. Fill those in. 777, seven, seven, so that's a 7. Here we have a 4 and a 7, and with this wall pattern right here, that means a 4 and 7 has to go here. With that 7, we can fill in the 4 and the 7 right there. All right. And now we've got a 4 here, 4 here, 4 here. So one of these is a 4. And we've got a 7 here, a 7 here, and a 7 here. So that is a 7. And since one of these had to be a 4, that's a 4 there. All right, and then we've got 8, 8, 8. And we've also got an 8 right here. That's because we've got an 8 here and an 8 here. That makes these ghost eights, so none of these can be an eight. And with this eight and this eight, we have to have an eight here, here, or here. With these ghost eights, we can't have it here or here, so that's an eight. All right, and then we've got a four here, four here, four here. So we we'll put a four there, and then four, four, four. Four goes there, too. All right, now we come to a point where um, we're, we're kind of stuck right now. We do have a 5 and a 9 right here, 5, 9 twins, the only two numbers missing in box 1, and they're going to help us here um, pretty quickly. But let's look, at, uh, let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? 1, 2... 5, 8, 9. Okay. Here we've got a 5 and a 9, like I said, so we're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're missing 1 and 2 there. That's a, that's a by-value cell there, 1 or a 2. And what were we missing here? 1, 2, 5, 8, and 9. Let's look at here, right here. We've got a 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. So that's got to be a 2 or a 9. Now, double column elimination is going to eliminate the 9 from this cell, and that will make this a 2, and I'll show you how that works. We've got 5, 9 twins here, so the 9 has to be here, here, or here. The 9, there's a 9 here, and so the 9 in box 6 has to be here, here, or here. And that, using double column elimination, that eliminates these two columns for a 9. So the 9 in box 9 has to be in this column, one of these three cells. So that can't be a 9, and the only thing it can be is a 2 or a 9. Now we've eliminated the 9, so we know that's a 2. So double column elimination here helped us find that number right there. And then remember we had a 1 or a 2 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a one. All right. All right. And now with this two here, two here, we've got a a two there. So we know the two has to go right there. Now what are we missing in this box right here? We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, and nine. Well, remember we have five, nine twins here, so that has to be a six. Right there. And that leaves five and nine right there. All right, so with this six here, with a wall pattern here, we, we know that's a six right there. And uh, we also know that this is a six here, because we got a six here, six here. That's a six right there. And that makes this a six right here too because of that six, okay? All right, now we've got a one here, one here, one here, one here, so that's a one. All right, now we've got six, seven, so these are six, seven twins that we can solve because of that six. All right, now we've only got a couple sixes left. Let's see if we can finish those. Six, 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 six. That's a six right there. And I guess we only had one six left. Okay, so we're done with the sixes now. All right, now let's look at... Uh, We've got a one and a four here in row four. We've also got a one and a four in column two, so that means these are one, four twins. We've got a four here with this wall that makes one of these a four, so that's a four right there. That makes that a one. And in reality here, we've got a four here with this wall, and we've got a four here, here, and here, so we know that's a four. All right, now we're missing one, five, and eight in row six. We got a one and an eight there, so that makes that a five. And one eight there, and there's a one there, so we can finish those. And now with this five, we can fill in the five nine twins we knew about in box one. And remember, you notice how five and nine helped us fill in some numbers here and also helped us find this two here with those even though we didn't uh, have those filled in we knew they were five nine twins so they they helped us even though we didn't fill them in all right now we're missing uh, two and nine here there's a nine there so we can fill in those two numbers two and nine all right, now let's, uh, we've got an eight here and an eight here. So one of these is an eight. We also have an eight here. So one of this, one of these is an eight. We've got an eight here, eight here. So one of these is an eight. So we can use double column elimination again. Here's an eight, so one of these is an eight. Here's an eight and here's an eight. So one of these is an eight. So that eliminates these two columns. So eight, eight, we know that's an eight right there. All right, and now we've got seven, seven. One of these is a seven here. Let's 
be one, two, three, seven, three, seven, nine. Yeah, that's got to be a 9 because we got 1, 5, and 9 missing there. we got 1 and 5 there, so that's a 9. So we know this is 3 and 7 here. 7, 7, 7. 7 there, 7 there, 7 there. So that's a 7 right there. So we can fill in the 3 and the 7 right there. Now we're only missing 2 and 3 in, in uh, row 2 there. With that three, we can finish those. All right, and now, let's see, what are we missing here? We're missing two, five, six, seven, eight, two, five, and nine. Okay, two, five, there's a nine there, so nine. Now we know this is a nine because got a 9 here so we have ghost 9s in box 2. So that can't be a 9 there because of these ghost 9s. So we know that's a 9 right there. And that 9, 9, and 9, 9 there. So that's a 9 also. All right now we can finish this column here. And we're missing 1 and 5 here. With that 1, we can fill those in. And uh, 5, 5, that's a 5 right there. And the only number missing in this box is a 2, so we can fill that in. All right. Now we're only missing one number in this column. That's a 5, so we can put that in. And uh, <clears throat> we're missing two and three in this row. There's a two there, so that's a three. And that's two right there. Let's see, we're missing five, eight, and nine there. We've got a five there, so that's a five. Now we're just missing eight and nine. We've got an eight there, so we can finish those. All right, now um, let's see. We're missing five and nine here. There's a five there, so we can finish those. And we're also missing five and nine here, so we can fill those in. Box seven is missing two, three. Three there, so two, three. And a three and an eight are missing here. With that three, we can fill those in. And we're done. All right. Well, not too bad. It got a little bit tricky, but uh, that two was a key to getting this puzzle solved. And with uh, um, using double column elimination there, we were able to uh, narrow the nine down to this column in box nine. And that could have either been a two or a nine, so we knew that had to be a two. That allowed us to, um, to continue on. Um, without that, uh, at that point, that puzzle got a little bit tricky. So, well, thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned for some, uh, probably some Glenn Gould uh, puzzles coming soon in the next couple of weeks.